3 kilo volume of the green beans. So it's charred at a temperature of 208.4 degrees. And now it's less than 30 degrees, so it only takes 4 minutes. How much is it cools some per minute? It's very effective. We take very seriously for our cooling system. We have a standard steering bar. If your hand needs to be in the, in the cooling tray, you will not crush your hand. Hi, good day. This is Danny uh, from the base again. Today, uh, we're going to uh, show you another video uh, in regards to uh, uh, another uh, feature of our roaster. Uh, as, you, as many of you uh, know that uh, uh, cooling of your roast is a very important part uh, for your roasting process. Okay? For, uh, the, reason, the reason behind that is because uh, uh, you, you do want your uh, roast, your uh, very hot discharge, just discharge roast, uh, the temperature can over, over 200 degrees, but to be cool as soon as possible so it can knock the flavor that you desire within the beans. Um, so in other words, if you don't do that efficiently, uh, it may overbake your beans or you, you may lose your, uh, the, the flavors that you desire. Uh, and you also uh, will uh, you know, just, just to destroy all the effort uh, that you uh, before the discharge of, of your beans. So it's very important part for uh, many of the uh, roasters. Um, let me show you uh, some of the, uh, uh, the features for our cooling system. So for the base roasters, we, um, we take very seriously uh, for our cooling uh, system. And uh, we spend a lot of time to try to uh, uh, design a way how to make your discharge beams can be cooled down efficiently. So let me show you how our uh, roaster works. So when uh, the your roast discharge from the uh, from the drum, you will you will start automatically cooling and doing the stirring. We have a, a stainless uh, steering bar within the uh, cooling tray, and uh, it also comes with an anti crushing system. So it's not just preventing uh, crushing your uh, roaster beans. But it's a safety feature. Uh, whenever, if your hand needs to be in the, uh, the cooling tray, you will not crush your hands. Let me show you. Okay. The steering bar will actually, once it hit something hard, you, you will not try to force it to get through. So you will actually bounce back a bit. Uh, so allow your hand to, you know, not being crushed. Uh, so this is a very good uh, safety feature as well. So as I said, um, we will take very seriously, not just uh, for cooling, but also for your safety. How about that? Good, hey, all right. And also, nevertheless, uh, the, cooling chair can also, the cooling chair can also be turned in different directions. So this allows you to, you know, where, wherever you want to have your uh, roast to, to, to come down. For example, let me just show you. See? So you, it's uh, multi-directional. It's very easy to uh, operate as well. So with the cooling system, uh, obviously, you need the hot air to be sucked out as soon as possible so the cooling can be effectively efficiently. So how, how does it uh, with our roaster is that uh, through the big holes, the hot air being sucked underneath the, cool tr the cooling tray and then goes here and out of the exhaust at the back of the drum. So now let me do an actual demo uh, to show you how efficient the waste roaster can cool down uh, its roast. I'm gonna put uh, three kilo, the three kilo volume of the green beans. Okay, so let's go. We also have the infrared device set up to measuring the temperature of the uh, cooling tray. So let's see how it goes.
now the, the infrared device measuring is 100 degree now. Don't remember. Uh, remember, when you got the discharge, you was at a temperature of 208.4 degrees. And now it's less than uh, 100 degrees now. So still keep cooling. Uh, we believe it should cool down within the uh, next two or three minutes. It's now around 70 degrees now. So it's actually uh, cooling very fast. If you work out how much is it cools some per minute, uh, the number is, is quite significant. Okay, so let's uh, keep going. It's now about 40 degrees. So uh, basically, forty degree. Yeah, you can you can basically uh, touch the fins. Uh, and I think uh, within the next uh, few uh, seconds, uh, we'll just uh, let it let it uh, release from the uh, cooling fan. Yeah, it's close to room temperature, so it's actually ready. If you want to release them, but we'll just let it run automatically. So, what we try to say is, uh, Rubes roasters uh, does have a very efficient and uh, efficient uh, uh, device system to cooling its roast. So, uh, it's very effective with this design, as you can see here. So, uh, with this experiment, uh, fully explains how. Uh, uh, it's the efficiency of the cooling system. It's now just less than uh, 30 degrees. So that's just a way when the roaster to release the beans automatically. Actually, because I said how many minutes is now? So it only takes so what's the temperature? So it's about th actually less than 30 degree, four minutes. Okay, so let's just uh, let the beans out now. So I hope you like the video and you enjoy this experiment uh, with me today. We shall see you next time. Remember to click the subscription and the bell sign. Thanks. Goodbye.